when did you get out of the Army? February the 7th, 1946. Funny you should remember it so exactly. Why is it? I'll never forget it. <laughs> and it was at Fort McPherson in Atlanta. And $369 in my pocket, which was a lot. And I thought everybody in Atlanta knew I had that. So I, and I st checked in at the old Piedmont Hotel and hid that money. <laughs> I came down to visit and I liked what I saw. So I just decided to come on down here and enter the school. I took architecture the first quarter. And those three years uh, were just was some of the best years of my life. There were six of us from Florence and coming down together. Uh, they were all fives. Uh, Bob Osmond, Bill Paxton, Bill Moore. And, I, uh, and it just uh, made sense. I mean, we didn't know we were all going to be five out status. But Sunday morning, we were leaving town, and here comes a freshman walking down the sidewalk. I'm sure he was going to church. He had on a coat and tie. And I got, I wasn't driving. I got out of the car about maybe half a block behind him and then the car went on down ahead of him. And I got a good running start. When I passed him, I snatched that hat off of his head and kept going and jumped in the car. And uh, so I thought I was a hero after that, I guess. Well, we took pride in the fraternity. We thought that, uh, and I think this is pretty well true, the SAEs and us and the KAs kind of set the pace for uh, uh, the fraternity. I mean, we, we considered those three the top fraternities at that time. Uh, I guess we were right, but... <laughs> <laughs> but there was so much... Uh, happiness all over campus, especially the fraternity house, because I guess 75% of our members at the house were veterans. We were so damn glad the war was over and we lived through all of it. Much to my surprise, in 77, he said that he had some business that he needed to be tending to, and he would like for me to be the president of the house corporation. So that's when I became the president of the House Corporation was in 77. And uh, I stayed on, I held that position until 88, when we, until we finished the new house that we have now. Well, maybe usually something going on at the fraternity house about every weekend. And then uh, I know we had uh, some big bands that came to Auburn, uh, Stan Kenton and uh, Skitch Henderson. I've forgotten others, but they were top notch. Well, life in the fraternity house was different than it is now. Uh, we had a house mother we called Sis Ollie, and uh, she was just wonderful. She was in charge of the kitchen. And every so often, especially during the spring and the summer, a group would get together maybe 12 or 15 and go down to the beach and uh, uh, Sis Ollie, the house mother, would go with them. And then also, and I almost got in trouble over this, is the custom to go up to Pine Mountain uh, and take dates. We had to dream up our own uh, entertainment most of the time, so we always seemed to have something going on most every weekend at the fraternity house. Uh, of course, we had to lead out for a formal, but then uh, I've I forgotten what time of the year we, we had a Bowery Ball, which was a heap of fun. And then we went down to uh, the supper club every once in a while. You remember going down there? Oh, we went very often. Yeah. The War Eagle Supper Club. Yeah. And another thing that, that the guys back then excelled in was intramural sports. But it was a glorious time. We, could, I, I, uh, I know everybody's having a good time now, but they could have had any better time than no, we had. I don't think anybody had any more fun during that generation. <laughs> it just, it, everything was just so good, and all that 
and most of the GIs was help the home money wise could could make it on say seventy five dollars back then was a pretty good sum of money. But we never we never missed an Alabama game in Birmingham. And they would chartered buses and went to Mississippi State, chartered buses and went to Vanderbilt games. This was from Florence. But we the friendship we developed in school with the Fies has carried it on uh, through our, our lifetime. We and they were our best friends. The war buddies, the camaraderie established with them was life or death sort of thing. You two of you in a foxhole, one looking one way and one looking the other. And uh, just fearful of death most any minute when you're in combat. And uh, I don't, you just you build a bond between those guys that's different from anything else in the world. Now my fraternity brothers, I, we just loved each other and just uh, respected each other and uh, had fun together. Had so much fun together, so much fun. And now today, uh, all of these fraternity brothers. Uh -huh. uh, there's not any of them left that were my close friends. One of the reasons that is because I'll be 98 next month.